difference here between MetaMask and Trust Wallet. MetaMask is what's known as an Ethereum style wallet or an EVM style wallet. E the EVM is Ethereum virtual machine. Any network that runs using the EVM can support MetaMask. Now, what MetaMask doesn't support is non-EVM chains. So Bitcoin, Cardano, Solana, XRP, Litecoin, Polkadot, Dogecoin, none of those are Ethereum based or EVM based. And so MetaMask doesn't support those coins. So if you're using DeFi or you're using Ethereum style chains, so that's Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Optimism, Arbitrum, Polygon, Avalanche, anything Ethereum based, Ethereum layer twos, or anything that uses the EVM, they will all be available within MetaMask. Now, all of the tokens that are built on top of those chains, like US dollar tether, USD coin, Uniswap, all of the other altcoins, a lot of them built on top of Ethereum, they will all be supported on those networks in MetaMask. But if you want to use other networks, so if you want to hold Bitcoin, if you want to hold Solana or Cardano or XRP, then it, it, MetaMask does not support those coins at all at the moment. Maybe they will in the future and bring those on, but for right now it's EVM and Ethereum based coins and assets only. So if you want to hold BTC or something like that, then Trust Wallet is the only one that you can use out of these two. So I'll leave links below to all of the uh, official sites for MetaMask and Trust Wallet so you can see the supported coins. For Trust Wallet, all of the major coins are supported, all of the major blockchains are supported. For MetaMask, just Ethereum style chains and so that's maybe going to influence you to use one or the other. When it comes to system support, both MetaMask and Trust Wallet can now be used on mobile and on your browser. So I'll show you the browser version of MetaMask here. Now the browser version with MetaMask works on Chromium based browsers. You can use it on Chrome, Firefox, Brave, Opera, Edge, and I think a couple of others. So that is pretty much 99% of people. So you can just download it as a browser extension and then use it. So very simply you have uh, the network that you can choose here, whichever network that you want to add and use. And then you can use this as a browser extension in order to automatically connect into DeFi applications. Trust Wallet also recently came out with a browser extension. You can download it for Chrome, Brave and Edge and a few others. So exactly the same as MetaMask, you have a browser extension. When you want to connect it to an application, you can just do that easily if you are using a browser. We'll focus on browsers first. But if you are on a DeFi app like PancakeSwap, top right hand corner, you can just click this and you can connect a wallet. And then whichever browser extension that you have, MetaMask or Trust Wallet, they are going to be uh, able to be connected to every single DeFi application. These are the two biggest wallets out there. If you can't, then you can just click injected right here and that will look for the browser extension that you have in your uh, browser at the time. And then you can just open that. But they are very, very similar. There's not really too many differences in terms of what the use cases are. You can just very simply connect it and then send and receive and sign transactions from the assets that you have in your wallet. Trust Wallet started as a smartphone application and so it did have a head start there. However, MetaMask has now really upgraded its application interface. It's a lot easier to use. And on both of these applications now, you can use the application itself without having to leave your phone at all. You can just go to the DAP browser in each. So with MetaMask right here, you can see very easily, you can look at applications. All of the top applications on Ethereum and other EVM chains like Aave, Uniswap, Maker, many others, you can just very easily just click on them and use them directly within the application. You can do that on Trust Wallet too. And so I'll show you an example right here. For both of them, there will be a DAP browser. So you can go to the uh, Discover tab and then there are just options here to look into different applications. If we scroll down, you can see these DeFi applications. If you click one, it will just take you straight through to that application. And then if you have assets in your wallet, you can connect your wallet and use the application very simply. So for my, in my opinion, both are very, very similar in terms of what they offer with DAP browsing and connecting to applications within the wallets. If you want to connect your wallet on your phone and sign transactions on your phone onto an application online, you can do it with both Trust Wallet and MetaMask. It's called Wallet Connect. You can actually go into the settings of both of these so I'll quickly show you and you can press Wallet Connect right here, which gives you a QR code. Then you can go into your application and then you just go to settings and then Wallet Connect right here and that will open up a QR code scanner. You can then scan the QR code on whatever application you want to connect to and it will connect your wallet so you can sign transactions. Both MetaMask and Trust Wallet allow you to do this.
Both MetaMask and Trust Wallet do support connecting hardware wallets. For the Trust Wallet side, it's just Ledger for the time being. I'm sure in the future they will support Trezor as well. For MetaMask right now, you can at the moment connect both a Trezor and a Ledger. If we go to MetaMask and then click Hardware Wallet, Ledger, Trezor, Lattice and QR based, uh, you can connect hardware wallets like this. The reason you'd want to connect a hardware wallet is because it's just simply a little bit more robust in terms of security. So what a lot of people usually do is use a software wallet to connect to applications because that's what you need, but then they keep their investment assets on their hardware device. So they can link the hardware wallet with the software wallet for the best wallet setup. If you want to know more about how to do that, I'll leave links in the description to videos on how to get set up with Ledger and MetaMask and Trust Wallet. Uh, the Crypto Investor course, which I'll link below, also has about 10 videos on the best way to set up wallets to make sure you have the robust security, so you can check those videos out as well. If you have some cryptos that you want to invest and actually stake on the blockchain, you can do that with both of these wallets. It's definitely a little bit easier in Trust Wallet, and they have much more robust support for staking directly within Trust Wallet. If you're using MetaMask, there are ways around this, but MetaMask really isn't designed, as of right now anyway, to help you stake any of your assets. And so it's definitely more supported and better supported within Trust Wallet. As an example here on BNB coin, so I'll click BNB, you can go to more and then stake, and then you can go ahead and stake BNB directly within Trust Wallet. So very easily right there. It also supports other coins, for example, Cardano ADA. You can select more and then stake, and then you can go through these options and actually stake directly on the Cardano blockchain through your Trust Wallet. It's very simple and easy. Um, to do, you can just, you know, get the assets in the wallet and then stake them. On MetaMask, it just doesn't let you do this. Now, the way around this is to actually hold staking coins. Now, this might be a bit complex for this video, but there are many chains now where essentially, if you want to stake the coins, you can use staking providers. So what you would do is get the coins into your wallet and then use a staking provider like Lido. Lido stakes coins on the Ethereum and Polygon Matic networks. And what you can do is use Lido to actually stake the coins yourself or other providers, and they will give you a staking coin that receives the staking rewards. So you can do that. You can essentially hold your assets in MetaMask and then use an application on the Ethereum or other blockchains to do what you want to do. So you can do it um, within MetaMask but the chain support is quite low in comparison to Trust Wallet, which lets you stake much more coins like BNB, Cardano, and a few others as well. Both wallets also support direct on-ramps from Fiat currency. Trust Wallet let you buy and sell from crypto back into Fiat or Fiat to crypto. MetaMask only let you buy at this stage, so you can't actually off-ramp. I'll show you that. So we can click on buy up in the top and then click an asset that we wanna buy like BTC. And what you do here is use a third-party provider so MoonPay or Ramp or Transact, these are third parties. So you need an account with a third party and then you would use a card in order to buy the crypto. And then the crypto will be sent directly into your wallet. I wouldn't recommend this on either Trust Wallet, MetaMask or anything else because this is the most expensive way to buy and sell crypto. You're going to be spending a few percent right here, although it is available for you. I'd much more recommend just using a proper exchange like Binance, Bybit or something like that. Uh, much lower fees and just much more robust. I'll leave some links below to deposit and trading bonuses if you want to check out those exchanges. But you can also sell as well. So if we go to BTC and then more, you can press sell and then it goes through to the third party. What I would recommend though is just sending those assets into a proper exchange, getting a much lower trading fee and much better on and off ramps from that exchange, including bank transfers or transfers to some other application, which is going to be way, way cheaper. On the MetaMask side, you can go to MetaMask portfolio here, press buy, and then there are different options depending on which country that you live in. I think you can use uh, cards or third parties for the most part. Again, like MoonPay and the others, you're going to be paying very high fees. In some countries, you even may have PayPal as an option there, which may be a bit cheaper. For MetaMask, it's an on-ramp for right now, no off-ramp. For Trust Wallet, you get on and off ramp. But like I said, I would recommend going to proper exchanges, much lower fees and uh, better all around. MetaMask and Trust Wallet are the most popular wallets out there because they're both extremely good. They're both great to use. It just depends on what assets you want to use and what features that you want. I'll leave the full video guides down in the description as well and the other helpful videos down there. 